Hi there, this is Juan Carlos Gonzalez, Microsoft 365 MVP. Welcome to a new video about SharePoint Premium features. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you document translation feature. This is a pay-as-you-go feature that you can use in your document libraries in Wonder for Business and also in Microsoft Teams to translate documents, Office documents or PDF documents from the original language. They are written to a target language it can be Spanish, can be French, or can be any of the supported languages. Let's see the demo. So here I am in one of my Microsoft 365 tenancy where I have enabled document translation in SharePoint Premium by enabled Microsoft Syntax or SharePoint Premium pay as you go services. As I explained in a previous video, document translation is part of the pay as you go offering in SharePoint Premium. So since I have everything, everything properly set up, I can make use of the feature. So as you can see here, indeed, I have been already playing a little bit with document translation in this document library. I'm going to show you, indeed, how this PowerPoint presentation that originally was in Spanish was translated to Japanese. So let me show you how it looks like. I'm doing this because obviously translating a PowerPoint deck to Japanese is going to take some time. But as you can see here, this is the Japanese test generated by document translation. So everything I think is properly translated is in Japanese. Some of the words are not translated. So it seems that the document translation service is ignoring some keywords, such as Power Platform in this case. And if I move forward, everything is properly translated in Japanese. So let's actually take a look at how document translation works for different kinds of documents. So first, I'm going to translate this PDF document that is in English. I translate it into French, and now I'm going to translate it into uh, Portuguese. This is an ebook provided by Microsoft, and it's very well formed, very well structured. So let's see how it looks like when I generate the translation in Portuguese. So I'm going to click on the translation action that is available here in the three dots also is available in the file item menu and if you click here in the two uh, boxes in here you're going to see popular languages top languages let's say but of course you can just type type in any other language you want to use in this case i'm going to use portuguese from portugal and then i'm going to click on translation this is on-demand translation and it's going to work. After some time, some seconds, some minutes, depending on the size of the file, the Portuguese translation is going to be generated. So I did that. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is just to translate this Office uh, document that is in English into, for instance, Spanish. I'm going to use, in this case, the file, the document, the file menu. And as you can see here, I have the translate option too. And I can say I'm going to translate into German. So I'm going to click on translate. Last but not least, I'm going to do the same uh, job by using a rule. I have already a rule in this document library. Let me show you this. So if I click on automate, I click on rules. I can click on manage rules. I have already my rule that is translating a document that I have load to the library. So I generated a copy of this document in the target language. So I click, I can click on the rule. And as you can see here, it's very basic stuff. When a new file is added, I can create a translate copy in French. Perfect. Or maybe I'm going to change to Italian. I'm going to click on save, and then you are ready. Of course, if I create a new rule, a new file is added. As you can see here, I have a new action, create a translated copy in blah, blah, blah. So now what I'm going to do is to upload a new document here. So you can see actually how uh, this is generated in, uh, how the, this tool in the document library is going to generate a copy of the file in Italian. So let's choose a file that makes sense from my desktop. So this is the book I was using. Uh, I should use a small file. So for instance, I'm going to choose, let me find something here. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let me go to Microsoft Office Pilot and I'm going to choose this PDF, for instance. 
and I'm going to unload to the document library. So let's review some things. First of all, let's review the Portuguese version of this ebook in English. So I'm going to click in here. Another cool feature, here you are seeing the new file Bigware in Microsoft 365. So as you can see, it's properly translated into Portuguese. And even it's keeping the formatting. Let me show you this in a minute. So if I click the original um, file, this one, remember the structure we were reviewing, everything is properly kept, in my opinion, as you can see here. Really cool stuff. Here I also have the German translation of this Word document. So let's click on that. There we go. Um, yes, it's in German. Perfect. And in this case, formatting is being kept. So it's working very, very well. Perfect. If you don't believe me, the original document was in English. Let me show you very, very straightforward this. This is the original document, and of course, it's in English, as expected. Last but not least, let's take a look to the document I loaded that is in English, and it's been translated by the rule in the document library into Italian. It's a six-page document, so that's pretty cool. And now, if I click on the Italian version, You are going to see the document is in Italian. So, super cool. This document translation feature that is part of SharePoint Premium, really, really useful. Remember, this is a pay as you go feature. So, that means that you need to configure pay as you go services uh, for SharePoint Premium in your Microsoft 365 tenancy. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video as I have enjoyed doing the demo for you. And I encourage you to start. Try SharePoint Premium features. Remember, you can make you, you can try some of the pay as you go services almost at no cost or with some discount. Uh, so you have some kind of free capacity as a, a state in the documentation. But anyway, you uh, just can configure a trial subscription you know, as you try a subscription in your tenancy and make some tests of this feature and any of the other AI features that are part of SharePoint Premium. That's all for now. Uh, as I say, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, see you soon. Bye bye.